Hi guys and welcome to this video. Today I thought I'd do my August favorites because it's the end of August. August in total have been a, like a really great month though. Um, I started school so I saw all my friends again and it's, it's just been great. I started doing my driver's license or studying for my driver's license and I'm just really excited for September to start. This month I only have beauty related stuff. I don't have any like random things to share with you. So let's just get started. I think I'm gonna start with uh, what's not really makeup. I have these two dry shampoos for, from Batiste. I actually really love these. Um, not specifically these, but the big ones, especially that for brown hair. I think that smells even better than these. Um, I actually, I'm not that happy about the smell of this. This is the one I've been using, by the way. Yeah, it's really weird scent. I don't really like it. It's the Sassy and Striking Mamba. This one says in Daring Wild. Smells... Smells better, actually. It smells better than this one. Um, this is almost empty. This is completely full. But this is just great for the days you don't really want to, like, take a shower and wash your hair. And it's a little bit greasy. Second day hair or third day hair. Even fourth day hair. This can save fourth day hair. It's amazing. And even though I have kind of dark roots. This does not leave a white cast on my hair. I just have to really massage it in. Then I have a perfume and it's the Daisy by Marc Jacobs. And I'm like over halfway through this and it's so sad because it's so good. It's just a really flowery, flowery, flowery scent but it's so good. Um, I'm so bad at describing stuff but it's amazing. Just take my word on it. And then on to makeup. I'm gonna start with the boring thing first and that is Vaseline. This is water free. Um, also known as petroleum, je petroleum jelly. This is amazing. Because I've been sick, my lips have been dry, my nose is totally peeled off and I have some dry spots like around my mouth and I still have dark areas. But when I used this, like the day after, it just completely went away. Then I have a concealer that I've been loving a lot. Just because it's really natural. It's so close to my own skin tone. It doesn't really do like a highlight or anything. And it's the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer in Classic Beige. Um, and it's... I would normally choose the lightest color, but I wanted something close to my own. And this is like really amazing. It's not really, it's a really thin concealer, but it still covers a lot. As you can see, it's still, as you can see, it's still like lighter than my own skin tone, but when you blend it out, it just blends in really easily. It's really lightweight, but it still covers a lot, and you can use it to spot conceal as well. Then I have a, a primer that I've been loving a lot recently as well, and I have a hair. And that primer is the Professional by Benefit. This is like a small size because I wanted to try it out first. I've had this for so long right now. Um, but it's still not finished yet. So I guess you can use this for quite a while. So the big one would last you a long time. I'm really considering purchasing the big one. I have two powder items. The first one is this e.l.f. Clarifying Pressed Powder in Honey. I use this as a bronzer. I'm not wearing it today. But I've used it a lot, I don't know if you can tell. One thing I hate, it like create bumps when you've used it. I have, that happens to my e.l.f. blush as well. Um, but yeah, this is really good and since it's a powder, it's not really too orange. Um, so I just use it to warm up my face, not contouring. I have a blush and this is a limited edition blush. Um, so I'm sorry about that, but I think you can find like a million dupes for this. It is the MAC Sharon Osborne Peaches and Cream Powder Blush and it's just a really nice pink blush. I'm wearing it right now um, like a really light layer of it um, so you can't see that much but it's a satin finish and it's just like a really really nice pink color. Um, they're really pigmented and I have, I actually only have like three items left, so this is a quick 
monthly favorites video I have and pigment or effect powder from Gosh and this is in the color cinnamon um, it's just a loose powder and this is a light champagne color it's good for inner highlighting or all over the lip. I like using it like all over. Just because that's me. <laughs> I like light colors on my lid. Let's see here. It comes in a like nice pot. And it's the color right there. It's so pretty. And will last like for a really, really long time. I have been into the winged eyeliner look a lot lately. But I suck at it, especially with felt tip eyeliners. I cannot do a winged eyeliner with that. But I've heard a lot of people talk about gel eyeliners, but I tried cream eyeliners and I was just rubbish at that as well. So I was like, uh, I don't really know about the gel eyeliners. But I eventually caved in and I bought the Maybelline, wait, the Maybelline Eye Studio Lasting Drama gel eyeliner 24 hour and this is in the color black chrome so it has like a silver blue sparkle in it but it's not really that noticeable it's just like in a pot a glass pot which is really nice I like the packaging and it comes with a brush as well and I really like this brush it's just really easy to create that wing and a thin line a thick line whatever you want so I've just I've been wearing this like a ton throughout this whole month. This is an amazing duo. And last item is this mascara from Rimmel and it's the Lash Lash <laughs> and it's the Lash Accelerator Mascara and it has a Grow Lash Complex in it and you may have heard a lot of things about this mascara but I don't really like it for my upper lashes. I really like it for my lower lashes. It's just really nice and separable separable it separates the lashes really well it's just a really small brush that can get in there really easily but I find if I put it on my upper lashes it smudges everywhere like every other Rimmel mascara does with me that was a quick video but thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it if you have anything you want me to try out or anything please comment down below I'm looking for a new prop prop I'm looking for a new brow product because I'm getting bored of the one I have at the moment because I've been using it for the last two years um, and yeah please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel I do upload videos every Sunday and I will see you in my next video bye